Khaled Ben Mudbek Kuna Adekunle Gold has advised his fans to continue social distancing from toxic people even after the lockdown. The singer took to Twitter to write, When this is all done, remember to continue social distancing from people that drain your energy. Mm -hmm. I think it's sound advice. Very sound, very, very, very sound advice because it's, it's not even after COVID-19 for the rest of your life True. stay away from toxic people if yeah. you ask me but let me get your take on this um, one. I, 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 for me this message is kind of like personal because mm. I'm, I'm the kind of person that I struggle a lot mm. with because I'm, I'm such a people pleaser so it's very hard for me to like draw boundary lines. I told be you like, we spill tea. Like, <laughs> please. Because it's very hard for me to like draw boundary lines. So even if I know that somebody is draining my energy, even if I know that this person is is a, is a toxic person and I don't want this person in my space, mm. it's very, very hard for me to social distance from that person. It's very hard for me to draw the boundary and be like, okay, no, I don't want this person in my space. And I think that it's also um, something that affects women in Nigeria. I'm sorry that I'm bringing this, I'm turning this to, I'm not making it a gender thing, it affects all no, no, genders, no, but I'm saying that you, as a woman in Nigeria, it becomes more personal. Because when you are growing up in the kind of society that we've grown up, grown up in, you are told to basically like accept a anything lot of that anything that comes you. your way. So even things that are disrespectful, you learn to tolerate it. Even when you know that you should draw the line and be like, okay, you know what, I cannot take this, I need to move away from this person. You are told, you know, okay, I was watching a video and um, it was talking about domestic violence. I don't know if you saw this video, it has been like making waves on social media. I was talking about domestic violence and how it starts with disrespect. Maybe um, it started from a young girl who was pushed by a boy mm. and then the mother told her that it is because he likes you, that is why he pushed you. So for a lot of us, we've grown up in that kind of environment where we are told to tolerate some certain things. But when we, gre when we get older, we start to unlearn some of those things and we start to realize that, okay, you know what, the there has to be boundary lines. For your own mental health, for your, to keep yourself sane, you just need to know when to draw the line and be like, I don't want some people in my life. I'm very, very sorry. You might come off as a nice person to other people, but to me, you are draining my energy. You are mm. giving me negative vibes. Mm. People need, it is a... Especially as you go older, it is a need. You need to be able to make your circle smaller and just social, socially distance yourself sure. from people who drain your energy and are just not adding positivity to your life. Mm. I feel like it's a lesson. And, and, and I want to say kudos to Adekule Good because Adekule Good, during this period, I feel like he has been really spinning some encouraging, you know, mm -hmm. like he has been dropping some really, really, you know, good points and all that. So I feel like this is something that not just, people should not just, take it as a now thing, just during this, you know, coronavirus time, even after. There are some lessons that we learned during this period that has to go with us after 2020, after the coronavirus pandemic is over. And yeah. I think this is one of one of its protect your space, protect your, protect your mental sanity. health space, protect your sanity. Social distance from people who are toxic and give you ne negative vibes. Simple. Yeah. I know those moments might be difficult and a lot of people might find it extremely difficult yeah. to do certain things. Like maybe due to your busy schedule, you've been able to cut off some people. But now that you're at home, boredom and all of that, exactly. you are reconnecting with some people exactly. that you found yourself like maybe a few months back, you were, yeah. you were not communicating with them, but you're mm -hmm. back in communication with such people. Yeah. But you need to know that as always... You can forgive, but yeah. never forget. Mm -hmm. So if you still have the memory of there, you know that this person is toxic to my life. This person disturbs my sanity. Yeah. This person dis encroaches on my personal space. This person doesn't give me the liberty. This person doesn't make me the best I can be. Mm -hmm. It is only best you draw the line, like you rightly said. Draw the line, know that, okay, we can be friends from a distance. Hi, hello, how you doing? You good? You safe? Hi, bye. <laughs> but afterwards, what is next? Do you want to come around me? Do you want mm -hmm. to come and gist with me? Do you want to feel like you're my friend once again? No, if you hurt my feelings once, you always hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. Like they say a leopard never changes changes the sport, right? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, know what is best for you, even after COVID-19. And I think yes. that's going to be our advice on Tea Time to everyone watching out there. Protect your space, protect your sanity, and stay away from toxic people. Yeah.